And a happy Wednesday to you. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter with your first defense forecast. And the pollen levels, when you know it, have once again spiked up once again because we're starting to clear out of the rain. So that's going to help the pollen levels come up again. The tree pollen has spiked back up into the high category. And it's mainly the oak, maple, and birch is the main allergens that we're dealing with. And I mentioned this yesterday. I want to mention again because it's actually noteworthy. The Lake Erie water level is starting to rise once again. And right now, the current water level is 574.34. Uh, feet. And so that uh, actual water level is about a, is almost half a foot above the average to where Lake Erie should be this time of the year. That actually breaks the old May record of 574.05 that was set back in 1986. So we, so again, uh, with the rising lake water, we have to keep our eyes on this because if it continues to rise, we will have to keep our eyes on potential lakeshore flooding as we go into the summer. It's not a guarantee that's going to happen, but it's something we have to keep our eyes on. So here's future scan through the day. Really nothing. Now, there is a small chance, we're talking 2 out of 10, 20% chance of an isolated rain shower late this afternoon. Otherwise, the day is going to be partly to mostly sunny. We have to shove a cold front through the area. This line of showers is uh, is actually triggered with that cold front. It clears out tomorrow, leading to a pretty good tomorrow, and temperatures really start to warm up as we go into the later part of the week, and especially into the weekend. So, here's a forecast for the main of the afternoon, partly to mostly sunny, much warmer than it has been. Again, there's that isolated shower chance. But again, only a 20% chance. So I really wouldn't count on that. So count on so count on basically what you see back here, partly to mostly sunny. So 58 right at the immediate Lake Erie waterfront, 67 while inland southwest wind, averaging 7 to 14 will fly it through time. So tonight we'll have those rain showers with that cold front. We're down to 47. Again, not as chilly as it has been in past nights. We'll start tomorrow around 49. It's a bit, it's going to be a good day. We might even see the sunrise tomorrow if we can get some uh, patches of the clouds to break up. And then tomorrow afternoon, look at that high temp, 67 degrees. That's right around average where we should be for this time of the year. Clouds and mix through the day with a west wind averaging less than 10 miles per hour. Brotherhood property maintenance seven day. Again, 67 is the average high tomorrow. There's 69. We'll flirt with 70 on Friday. We bring in a chance for a few more rain showers, but then the weekend, we have upped the rain chances slightly over the weekend and uh, model guidance is still split over the second half of the weekend into early next week. Some models still have us down uh, into the 50s. Some of us are spiking us into the 80s, but I'm keeping us right in the middle uh, on Sunday and Monday. We'll be getting a chance for a few more rain showers on Tuesday.